Gene therapy is a targeted approach to cancer treatment. It takes advantage of molecular properties unique to cancer cells in order to selectively destroy those cells while leaving the rest of the body intact. A common feature of all cancers is uncontrolled cell division. Normal cells listen to signaling molecules that tell them when to keep dividing, when to stop, and even when to die. Cancer cells lose components of the growth signaling mechanism and they keep dividing without restraint. There is a subset of gene therapies that aim to restore division control in cancer cells. The first ever approved gene therapy, Gendicin, is an adenovirus carrying a p53 gene. The product of this gene, p53 protein, is well-studied cell division controller that is inactivated in most cancers. Restoring p53 activity with adenovirus blocks further cell divisions and sends tumor cells to programmed cell death. Second common feature of cancers is evading detection by the immune system. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes are immune cells that search the organism for the presence of foreign substances. When a cell develops genetic mutations, it ends up showing on its surface pieces of mutated proteins. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes detect and kill such mutated cells. Sometimes mutated cells escape the detection. They keep dividing and turn into a tumor. Kimraya and Yaskarta are examples of gene therapies that enable patients' own T lymphocytes to detect cancer in the body. Those two therapies have been developed for blood cancers originating from a different type of immune cells called B lymphocytes. Genetic modification applied to patients' T cells leads to a production of chimeric antigen receptor, a signaling molecule that detects CD19 antigen present on the surface of B lymphocytes. When chimeric antigen receptor gets in contact with CD19, T cells become activated and kill the B cells that they have found. The process goes on until all B cells are eradicated. Eliminating cancer cells with targeted therapy is an ideal scenario in cancer treatment. Molecular technology is complex, but it is working. We will see a wave of gene therapies coming to clinics in the near future. If you want to learn more about cancer gene therapies, please follow the link to Bio501 website to read the full article.